So in a sense, what everyone's worried about, about privacy in the digital world, is moving from a world in which actions were not recorded into an environment in which digital actions are recorded. And the, the default, the defaults change. And so privacy then becomes a challenge of coming to terms with the new environment. This is the challenge of dealing with a mediated life, is that you're dealing with these interactions, dealing with ways of sharing, um, where you don't know what's at the other end. And I think that's really a very tricky thing to come to terms with for all people. We really need to think hard about um, social design, about the design of institutions, uh, the design of spaces, processes, uh, that allow us actually to have conversations around uh, different expectations of privacy, uh, also kind of um, different notions on the value of the public. I think we're going through a moment where there's all sorts of challenging blurring of the public and the private. I think there's a strong encouragement to put aspects of your life that might previously have been private and put them into public through sharing through something like social media. In the age of anonymity, uh, or of anonymity gone through technology, rather, uh, you have to think about new ways of how to negotiate with power. We have pretty good reason to be concerned about unwanted collection attempts uh, or, or indeed um, porous boundaries around the collection of information. I think that history teaches us what that information is very often I see the challenge is a, a much more urgent one that um, anonymity and privacy will be used uh, in new ways against people who have less. Well, clearly one of the things that we're experiencing right now is, a is the um, growth of mobile and location-based technologies. So I think all the interesting questions for the next five years are going to be around how it is that we can re-understand um, the relationship between public and private space through the sort of information technologies that we, that we have. What could be, what is the relation between this new virtual space and uh, architectural space? And uh, perhaps the question would be how do they interact and how are they influenced uh, by each other? Um, and the ways in which those types of new forms of publicness can play a significant role in political action. It's my belief that we need to figure out how to have a dialogue with the companies that are building these spaces about how we can treat them in a way that they're actually public spaces, not just private spaces. And that means getting to the point in the dialogue with them where we, as users of the tools, have rights and responsibilities beyond just signing a terms of service that none of us actually read.